What's up, what's up, what's up guys? I need to make this auto focus because <laughs> I might be out of focus. What's up guys? Um today's video uh, yeah, as you can see I'm just in a tight spot uh because my place is a mess right now. Uh but this vlog is um it's a weekend vlog where I'm shooting the whole weekend. Um, let me just try to get this maybe like this. I don't know if it works, but this weekend vlog is basically me shooting the whole weekend yesterday i couldn't vlog uh, but today i'm actually going to be trying to be vlogging more because i'm doing my fi my favorite thing in the world and that is taking photos so i'm going to be shooting with um with uh bright bright is going to be doing my he's going to be doing my um my lighting so i can't wait for this day you guys i don't know if you guys know this but i actually like photography more than anything in the world i'm so attached to it and i don't really like messing with it so it's it's gonna be fun today um i can't wait man i'll see you guys in the next one in a bit not in the next one this vlogging thing is very hard but I'll, you guys will get it man this needs to be recorded right away. This needs to be recorded right away. I'm 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 That's actually not my proudest moment. No, it's not. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, man. <laughs> so today we are with with bright brown we're gonna be shooting today we're in the forest yeah uh, what's the place um, Kasseling. <laughs> that um, My, um, what, what's her name uh, um Casablanca. Casablanca. Oh, <laughs> we in it we in it Okay, so today's video is actually uh, about 5D Mark IV. All the footage that you have just saw or you saw or you saw or whatever that disappeared in your screen is actually shot by 5D Mark IV. And it's quite, it's quite interesting that Mark IV because I was shooting also with a 7D and 7D is quite different from Mark IV. Also, I'm shooting with a um 5d mark 2 right now um 30 mm sigma lens great so i was going with my homie to a shoot photographers videographers always have an opinion and this is what he said no i'm a canon lover like i can't you can't no i love canon no i love canon i tried i'm gonna buy a new camera now so i had to make a decision did I, did I get the A7 III or, or I get the, so I actually got the Canon EOS R, yeah. so I'm moving mirrorless now. So what do you think about yes. the difference between mirrorless and, and, and the thing? Yes, mm. no, there isn't really much though, just that with mirrorless it's, I think it's easier to work with, mm. not heavy as well, <laughs> they really heavy. But one thing I have is like the viewfinder thing, like, because uh, mm. I don't know what other mirrors are like, but with mine, I know I can the exposure. I can see it on the viewfinder. Oh. Viewfinder, right? So whatever I'm exposing on the viewfinder, I see while I'm doing the exposure. I see this the correct one on the viewfinder. Without so just guessing the numbers, okay, no one's going to stop down, stop down. Uh, no, no one has ever explained that. Yeah, they never. All these, all these tutorials they're talking about, like the, the mirrorless new mirrors, but they don't talk about yeah, you have, you have, you have. You have experience, so that's and the focus point. 
So the focus points, the all over this, the it's like the focus points are limitless because now your focus points are just more in the middle of in the, the middle, land. yeah, and just in the middle of the land. So with the middle is the all over the from that corner to that corner focus points. So what what is it that you would you would you choose a mark four or would you choose a mirrorless? That's the question. That's the choice that I had. So I had to either I was going with the five D mark four or the EOS R. So it's like. But the thing about me is like I love gadgets and I love latest gadgets. So I was like, the Mark Four is a bit old, so maybe there's better technology that side. So, for for video, do you like it too? Ah, uh, yeah, I like and it. And the overheating. Video, the only problem with the video is that I don't have the right lenses for it. Yet. But if I get the right lenses, isn't it overheating like though? Ah, uh, hasn't I haven't shot like a longer time with it to video. Oh. I don't know. Cool. You heard it here. Yeah? So now I'm gonna choose Canon Mark Four. Canon. <laughs> Mark Four. <laughs> Does it overheat? No. It doesn't. No? Now the interesting thing, when you look at the, this footage, right? There's a footage I shot with my 7D. Um, now the 7D looks like it's almost. You wouldn't. You wouldn't really see the difference unless maybe it's the the of the white balance yes it's, it's the white balance but there's nothing really really different from mark 4 unless maybe you see the little things like the 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 the, the quality of it now because mark mark 4 has this like a way like a, has this 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 quality that it's it's different from 7d because i mean 7d is not as the price as of mark 4 mark 4 goes like for like 50k so um if you're gonna have to get a 7d which is like 15 you can't really 15 20 you can't really um compare them the like both of them the same so the reason why i'm saying this is because i'm not really one of those people who like talking about cameras and then i talk about things that are like like specs like the specs you see right now i mean everyone speaks about specs so i don't want to sound robotic and stuff so i just give you guys the actually the the practical thing about the camera for example if you people say that um the slow motion of mark 4 is actually nice but if you look at the, the 120 if you record it 120 on that and you compare it to iphone that i shot with uh my home documentary with it's still you wouldn't even say because iphone it gives you four full hd so now the slow motion of a mark 4 is not as perfect as you know even in the in, in like in the dark i've seen in the dark when i was trying to shoot that because i you know if you're doing slow if you're doing lifestyle people in the lifestyle they like slow motion things you know like dreamy shots so if you're shooting lifestyle with a mark 4 and some crop sensor there um that's the only fault you could say about mark 4 but would i buy it in 2021 for stills I was shooting stills that day so these are the stills and this is how they came out the when they are not retouched and when they retouched obviously we had lights there and maybe the the the, the lens that I was using could be different but all I'm saying is that the camera is actually I love it for like photos for videos I also love it but it, I wouldn't really choose it over like Sony since I'm moving to Sony. I think Sony is great for videos. Uh, photos, I don't think Sony is that great. Mark 4 has this amazing texture to it, which makes your photos look like, you know, like after 10 years, they're still going to have that quality because um, Canon photo photography, like the cameras are like that. And that's why I like, I like them. People are shooting big productions and big, um, um, yeah, doing big productions, you know, with using Mark 4. So I would actually buy it, but I wouldn't, for videos, I would actually, if I had to choose primarily for videos, I'd actually choose um, Sony. Um, but for Canon, I would actually choose. There's a camera that the, it's really for photo for for cameras. That's cinema camera. I choose those cinema camera ranges if I wanna do video. 
with this but if i want to do stills and i want to have a camera that i can shoot stills and videos with while i'm traveling because i'm a content creator i'll definitely choose a mark 4 because of that uh, right now it's so funny because i'm shooting with a mark 5 with a mark 2 and you wouldn't even see the difference if maybe i i, I, sh I show you guys what i've shot with mark mark um mark 4 so and also like if i had to choose sony which means these are the footages of sony and mark 4 um i like how the the sony low profile is uh with the canon it's for good it's good for like fast fast content content that you do on the move but with sony it's like everything you can even do it on the move because the slope because the autofocus is very fast um everything about sony is great the only thing could be the, the battery but i've heard that batteries have improved so um unlike also buying the canon that the the the, the mirrorless ones uh the, the mirrorless ones they nice but i've heard of overheating and some of us shoot like long conferences the 70s. The 70s. The 70s. They they are. Uh, they overheat after a long time. So this is the setup. Imagine. Not yet. Not yet. You need the subject. So, I wouldn't want to get overheating camera. You know, as as my first camera. If I'm doing videos, because my clients were gonna kill me if they come if I come home with a camera that. Um, doesn't really have everything they expected from it so would i choose a would i buy a, a canon i'll definitely buy it mark 4 i would buy it if i have the money but if i don't have the money maybe 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 for second hand yeah but if i have the money to choose between canon and sony i'll choose sony anytime low light I, I know a lot of people say Sony low light, uh, but you know, using lighting, you can still get whatever you get from Sony. But all I'm saying is that Sony for me, I just like the texture of it. I like the, um, you know, how small the camera is. You know, the only thing I don't like about Mark IV is how heavy it is. Like the gimbal, it's just heavy to use it on a gimbal. You know, I'd rather use something that is like pretty much not heavy. Uh, but also something that is pretty much how do i put it yeah so i gave you guys very practical um examples if i had to choose but i definitely go for sony because i want to go move to sony because of you know how smooth the photos are i mean the videos and photos but for for photography primarily if i have to do photography primarily i'd go for sony mark 4 i mean uh canon mark 4 uh but also like just the um, the over thing is that I, I like how sony feels you know the low light you know uh, the other day i was shooting um i was shooting um a videos low light i had no light with me and i was shooting with sony and it they came out properly if I'd, i had canon i would have suffered so i was a bit worried about that and then everything came out well so I choose Sony anytime because of the type of content I create. Um, but if I have to choose primarily photography, I choose Mark IV because Mark IV is good for photos. Um, mirrorless, I haven't tried it, but maybe I should try it. But for now, I think Sony wins. Um, and also, like, yeah, man. Um, so choice is yours i didn't want to go and be like technical and give you guys all the specs that people get on the internet i just wanted to give you a practical thing so i'll see you guys in the next one peace